It is 7 hours and 46 minutes into the day of Wednesday, October 28th, 2020. And I'm watching uh, YouTube vlogs into burnout mode. I'm on the side track of the YouTube stroll. I'm on uh, one of the subpaths underneath the Leroy's. Uh, I had done the subpath uh, under both uh, Family Five vlogs, uh, Clintus to a certain degree, and then. Um, Our family nest. I went over to uh, I went over to uh, Carly Reese's channel, and then uh, I'm here now on the Leroy's uh, with Meet the Millers. I just finished binge watching uh, Clay Leia, both the Clay Leia vlogs and Clay Leia, and so now I'm gonna hit binge watch uh, here. And this is the is it the beginning of the video for uh, Wednesday and Thursday for the 28th and 29th. I've been able to get a lot of good uh, scooting videos done. I've checked the footage for the scooting videos. And things seem to be going pretty well. I, I, I have enough footage. So we'll be varying things up. I'll be doing a uh, renovation project that... Uh, You'll be able to watch uh, sometime uh, in November, probably within the uh, probably the second week of November, more likely than not. Um, I'm working on uh, bringing in uh, the stroll I do on Instagram. I like when I sort of peruse through Instagram. I have I'm not ready yet to do anything for TikTok. I do have a TikTok account. Uh, I just want to try to sort of bring things into in everything together. Uh, but there's also going to be a lot more unpackaging. Uh, I just opened two, two yesterday in the last vlog, and we'll see what happens for today, whether I, I have one or two openings or maybe nothing. <laughs> I don't know when things are coming in. I just know that they're coming in, so uh, that's uh, what we look forward to. While I large, lost a large chunk of the day today, uh, particularly on Wednesday, we are now into Thursday. And so I'm ending, uh, I'm ending Wednesday's vlog, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, I think. I'm not really too sure where we are, because I, 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 I took the day off on Wednesday uh, uh, on the 28th. And I slept most of the day, so where I am now in terms of the vlogging, I really don't have any idea. I thought I went back and checked. So this is either going to be a beginning or an end. It really, it, it often, if the if the scooting video, the road uh, trip vlog takes too long, adds enough time into things, then uh, I simply shift the cl uh, uh, one or two clips over to the next day, and that kind of puts things together and that's what happened on actually uh Oct when I did the uh ride, I did the uh, Thanksgiving ride uh Canadian Thanksgiving ride uh on uh, October 5th it was more than enough time so I pushed off the uh, ending clip uh onto the 6th the, 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 onto the onto the uh, video for the 6th uh, because it, 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 we are rock we're operating on a 24/7 day, uh, basis so uh a 24-hour day, so it doesn't ha matter whether I, sh I shift a video one way or another. And it seems like what's happened now is my time has shifted uh, uh, once again. And and so that we're uh, ending the vlog at around uh, end, end the vlog, vlog around 7 o'clock in the morning on the 29th, Thursday, October 29th. Uh, rather than uh, starting it again, uh, uh, that was kind of an error on my part. Uh, I went off and did some gaming for one hour and so on and so forth, thinking that I had already ended. I had already uh, ended the video, but I didn't end the video. Uh, I shouldn't end the vlog. I had uh, I had uh, just started. It just just didn't seem like I had done anything, and that, that's where the, where the bizarre part was. Is, is that I was really off in terms of. 
uh, where I was in sort of the, the time frame of the vlog. So things are going to shift around a little bit. And this is what makes for a shorter vlog or a longer vlog or just different things like that. Uh, I was able to do, in, in a much better manner, the uh, YouTube vlog, the, the YouTube stroll. And there you go, I'm tired. I'm tired again. This is the, I haven't had a, a day off like this in, oh, more than three months. So it, it, does, it does get to you in terms of the fatigue. But the, the, the YouTube stroll is getting better and better. Uh, I have got a good enough uh, amount of filler in between so that, let's say, well, what's happened now is it's our life uh, are getting knocked out by uh, YouTube, and right now they're on a hiatus. We'll see if they come back or not because it really depends on uh, what YouTube decides to do. Sometimes they just, they want these YouTubers gone. A lot of times, see, what happens is that YouTube and, and a lot of these larger corporate giants have teamed up with a large a large chunk of these uh, these sort of, uh, streaming services like Disney Plus, Hulu, uh, and so on and so forth. And YouTube takes away from that revenue because they take viewers away. If they could knock particularly families off of YouTube and shift them back onto paid services like Disney Plus, Nickelodeon, or, 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 or anything like that, then uh, the, the, the content providers in the professional sphere who want, who want millions of viewers, not just satisfied with, you know, uh, they're not looking at subscribers. So uh, right now, the YouTube account is subscribers. The professional and YouTube should, you, YouTubers should view themselves as pros. They are a business. It's in your views, not necessarily your subscription, that you want your numbers in. But once you do get the views and you start becoming more recognized, uh, you're going to come into into competition with the large major companies like uh, Disney, ABC, you know, Disney, uh, uh, Universal Studios, a large ch Hulu, a large chunk of these companies are going to start viewing you as competition, and they're going to find ways to knock you off. And there's no, they don't have any skin to going up to YouTube and say, hey, we're going to give you X amount of dollars, we're going to pay you for this. You start knocking off these channels here because they're taking away our views. In other words, you're in competition. And they will pay executives large amounts of money so that they're getting compensated. And what they're going to do is they're now going to start knocking you off the channels that they no longer want because it's not beneficial to their bottom line. And what they'll do is they hire these, these, these people, these, these YouTube managers, account managers, who really don't know much of anything, and they don't have the authority to go in and really sort of change policy. They can be nice to you, and they're they're very polite on the phone, and so on and so forth. But the reality is, is once these things start hitting like this, this is where corporations bring in their lawyers. This isn't you know being oh our, we 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 found there's a glitch in your system. It looks like uh, your, your your account's been restricted. Well, they're all on. They're all kids on there. There's no, nothing restricted on there, and yet other channels aren't. It's not a chance. Oh, sorry. You know, we we won't. We'll, we'll correct this. We won't do this again. Then it happens again. This is the time where you bring in your lawyer and say, "Well, okay. Well, we we'll, we'll give it a shot. We trusted you. Now, don't talk to us. Talk to our lawyers. We'll deal with you through our people, and you'll get much different results." And the thing is, because, that's because but the thing is, is that that's typically not what's going to happen with a YouTuber because a YouTuber doesn't necessarily view themselves as a business. And they don't understand the needs of retaining a lawyer uh, for these particular issues. But you know, that's 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 kind of how things end up working out, and we'll see how the the day goes. Uh, it looks like I checked the weather; there's not going to be any rain today, so it looks like we will get a road vlog. Uh, into uh, the video uh, for Thursday, anyways. Uh, see, I don't know whether this is going to be an ending vlog or it's going to be a beginning vlog. So I'm going to treat it as either. It, this could be an ending vlog or it could be be a, a, be a, be a, a an ending segment or, or a beginning segment.
one of the things I like about the developing the YouTube stroll is that it gives me a way of uh, cutting the cable. I, I got rid of my cable several years ago. And I started watching YouTube as a TV and along with Netflix and a couple other things. But uh, in terms of, I, I have my own library, media library of cartoons. And so it, it becomes very convenient as a TV to watch if you want to watch reality shows and stuff like that. You can always do that through YouTube. And the, what's happened recently is that the family channel, the family channels have been blocked. They've been been shut down. They're uh, lost their comments, and, and as a result, because they don't have comments, they're not being picked up uh, by uh, the uh, the sort of the algorithm. In other words, they've been crippled. And people say, "Well, what do I do now that I've lost my income?" Because a lot of these people base their whole income on YouTube. Well, what do you do now? And I said, well, a lot of times when companies do this, there are workarounds. And one of the workarounds is, is you need to dump the app that, that YouTube has and move back to a browser and have your fans uh, uh, sort of click, uh, 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 add, add them, have them create a bookmark, and you go to their channel based on the bookmark. That's how you do that. But the thing is, is that... Uh, it becomes very difficult if you're now figuring out they're gonna, you're going to have to rebuild your channel all over again. But that, that's uh, what most people are trying are sort of figuring out now. And I'm just done for the night for in terms of uh, you, my YouTube stroll. I've been adding new things because the, 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 one of the browsers I'm new, now using uh, has new features. So I'm adding a new feature to it that, I'm, that I didn't really have before and it's making things more instant for the shows I want to go to immediately. Then uh, I have uh, other bookmark ma mechanisms uh, that I can go to uh, for things that are not so immediate. So uh, I go to my immediate, my my uh, standard YouTube path. Uh, off the standard YouTube path, I book the channels that are I'm going to be going to next on the path. And then I have a, a book, whole series of bookmarks that are. Not on the main thing, not on the sort of the, 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 the main path and the alternative path, but are further down the list. So, But they're not going to be going on to the main thing that I have right now, uh, just so I don't clog things up. But I'm, I'm going to add in, and this is where it's coming up next, is um, I spend an enormous amount of time on YouTube. Not on YouTube, Instagram. Instagram is my next place that I spend an enormous amount of time on. And I've been noticing that that, that, that Instagram and Twitter have all been following the, the, the elections pretty closely. And they're very one-sided. They're very heavily towards Biden. I don't have anything against Biden. Except that he wasn't chosen by the people. The person who would have been elected if the superdelegates of the Democratic Party... Did not step in. They promised not to step in this year, this time. The superdelegate said, we're not going to step in. Because last time they had picked Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders didn't put up a fuss and said, okay, you do what you want. We'll go next time. right?" And they did a whole thing with the convention where they said, oh, don't worry. We're not going to step in. The superdelegates aren't going to step in. And they created these procedures and this and that. And they had a whole thing on it. What did they do? What did they do that for 2020? Well, they were going to pick Bernie Sanders. The people wanted Bernie Sanders. No, you can't have Bernie Sanders. They stepped in and chose Biden, and then come up, then and then Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris isn't a black woman. She's not. She 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 has no African blood in her. She's Indian. She's she's Hindi. She's Hindu, but she's not. She's not black. She's not. You know. From Africa at all, it's just, and the thing is, so what happens is that once again you have this narrative coming out, and it's coming up on YouTube, it's coming up on Twitter, that is completely false. And this is what you have with uh, companies like Volvo. Volvo was coming up and talking, talking about how it was the first to do this and it was the first to do that, bragging about its past. Except they leave out one thing. Even though Volvo was a Swedish company. 
uh, Volvo, and because of Sweden, was conquered by the Nazis. It became just like France said. Uh, 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 there was a Nazi France, no, known as the Vichy, the, the Vichy, the Vichy, Vichy French. They were Nazis, and there were a lot of collaborators who, although uh, you know they they did you know a lot of people didn't want to be part of the Nazi party. There were a lot of French who did. And this is what happened in Sweden. This is what happened in Finland. This is what happened in Denmark. All these countries were taken over by, by the Nazis. And, and so Volvo has a Nazi past. It had and played a role in transporting people uh, to the death camps. And if, if you're going to brag about safety, then why don't you bring, bring and how good you are. Why don't you bring up the negative stuff in your past as well? Why, why do you try to hide that? Play the whole virtue thing where, where socialism is so good. Look, we have the company Volvo. Right? Sweden Sweden is the standard for socialism. Uh, everyone who's on the left, the Democrats, they're always looking at Sweden. What about the Nazi past that, ha that Sweden has? Are we going to take a look at that too? Because if you're going to include the good things, then you, also have to, you also have to include the bad. But this isn't done. And the thing is, is that this, these are all the ads I've been seeing on Twitter, on, uh, on Instagram. All these, all these ads saying, we're with you, bro. We're with you, bro. Really? You were? What about the Nazi past you have? What about your dealing with, with the Nazis before? Were you with us then? Because I'm not, I'm, not, well, I'm not a white person. I'm one of the mud races. My last name is Karis. If you know the, 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 the chocolate bar caramel, right? My last name is Kata. It's actually Kata Thanasis in Greek. But the Kata means dark. It means burnt. We're not white people. We're from inside of Turkey. We're Greeks from inside of Turkey. That's Asia Minor. We're Asiatic Greeks. We're not white. We're not included in that European club. Well, the clock has chimed 7 o'clock, uh, letting me know it's 7 hours into the day of uh, October, Friday, October uh, 30th, because I know yesterday was the 29th, my birthday. <laughs> um, I still can remember it. I still ha have a presence of mind to sort of uh, be able to calculate where we are in terms of uh, the celestial position of the Earth around the Sun. That's what your days are. Your days aren't necessarily a measure of time, but rather a measure of position of the Earth around the Sun, while the time of day is the measure of the Earth's orbit. Uh, of course, 24 hours in the orbit, or 360 degrees. Uh, and thus makes up our time. <laughs> uh... We're at the end of the vlog for the 29th. We have, I have successfully added a third component, component into the vlogs, as I said it would, is that we're going to start talking about uh, my time on Instagram. Uh, I hang out at uh, Kauai, Tea House, uh, Kauai Tea House on Instagram. Uh, it is sort of a playground, a tea house where I go hang out and I peruse and just, you know, have fun, if you will. However, there are, as I said before, there are perturbances that come in. And I guess this has to do a lot with, uh, with the, the level of knowledge where I'm at, the sort of, uh, the awareness of more. It's not that I am significantly above others, it just, because it's not necessarily, necessarily an issue of, of status, it's an issue of position, is where you are in terms of, uh, the overall, uh, path of knowledge, which of course is infinite. While in the totality of the path of infinite knowledge, it appears you haven't moved, but of course if you look at other people, 
and see where they are on the path. And, and in many cases, it's not necessary to be uh, derisive to, to, to uh, put down one for being not in the position that I'm in. Uh, but rather to understand why they are not in the position. What has hampered them? What has, in many cases, pulled them off the path into areas that they, they don't they don't see that they're stuck. They they assume they assume illumination. And this is the key part. They assume the illumination. They're not necessarily illuminated. They simply assume the illumination. And they deem themselves to be woke, to be aware. The problem is, one can still be within the matrix. One can still be in a dream, although appearing to be woke. I know those of you who have some who have some experience with nightmares know that in a nightmare it is possible to wake up to only find yourself within another within another within another nightmare. <laughs> In other words, you haven't woken. It just simply appears to be in your oh, experience of the dream that you have woken. But you're still within that dream. You're still within, in many cases, within that nightmare. It hasn't ended yet. And I say, yeah, because you will wake, assumingly you don't die in your sleep. Because <laughs> you know? that is also a possibility. People can and do die in their sleep. So the thing is, is that when you go to sleep one night, there's no guarantee the next morning that you will wake or whenever you go to bed, you you know, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm tired, I'm gonna go take a nap, and uh, and and lo and behold, uh, you don't wake up again. That's your end. We don't know when our end is. We don't, this is the thing. We have no idea when our end is. We don't. We don't. In many cases, we don't even see it coming. Yet there are those who are determined, who view themselves to be woke to push themselves into a path of self-destruction. This, unfortunately, was, is where the world is going now. The world is heading back towards the evil of the Nazis. The Nazis are not simply a name or a party or whatever. Oh, those Nazi people, they're so bad. Well, not necessarily. What would happen is that when the Nazis came along, society was prepared for them. What the Nazis did was allowed to be done by the society of good people. People who thought they were intelligent, who thought they were aware, who thought they were illuminated. And assume that because someone has a particular breeding, and it's your genetics, that it destined them to be great or to be unfortunate. Now how do you deal with unfortunate souls? who will never amount to anything because their breeding isn't sufficient. Right? Everything is in your breeding. That's eugenics. Your birth, your birthright, your birthplace. Well, the solution was to eliminate them. To euthanize them, to give them a happy death. Remove them from the gene pool, if you will. And you can look into the 1930s, the, the, the progressive movement which coined the phrase moron, idiot, and classified all these groups of people who were sufficient to be put to death, to be euthanized, because, well, they're suffering. They're idiots, they're imbeciles. They can't live, they can't feed themselves, they can't take care of themselves, so let's get rid of them. Give them a happy death. This is the situation we're in today. This is what we're facing today. Unfortunately, the people behind Biden... The Democratic left, who are, also, who are the progressives of today, think this way. This does not excuse the self-righteous behavior of the right, but that's for another day. And this is all, all you have to do to understand the self-righteous righteous behavior of the, of the right is go into the gospel. It's, it's there plainly to see. This is the parable of the publican and the Pharisee. Why is the, the Pharisee, the Jew, condemned and the, Pharisee, and the publican isn't? Simple, because the Pharisee was self-righteous. Why did the why did the Gentiles and the people of the world receive the kingdom of heaven while the Jews were excluded? Right? They're no longer the children of, the children of, of God. Why? Because they walked away from it. They rejected God. They rejected 
the, the, the state of heaven, which is Israel. Israel's not the physical place. Israel's heaven. Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, of, of Israel in heaven. But they didn't want that. They wanted, they wanted the physical place. So they rejected God in the offer of heaven for earth. They rejected the spiritual for the physical. This is understood in the Bhagavad Gita by the Hare Krishnas and anyone who practices yoga. Yoga, the spiritual uh, uh, exercise of transcendental meditation, is to remove yourself from the physical existence and to achieve a spiritual existence. This is what it's all about. They understand this. They understand the, le the evil, the dark path, is physical. While the right-hand path towards lightness is spiritual. Anything that is anti-spiritual is negative. It's black. Left-hand path. These are the terms of Gnosis. It even appears there, and we'll get more into that later on. But this is our end. And I say that this has nothing to do with you worth it or not. I like John. I watch the Yahweh vlogs every single day. As, as long as they put up, I'll watch. But you see, even in his life, he struggles. He understands the necessity of struggle. It's not an issue of self-worth. It's an issue of perseverance. And that's my phrase becomes, my phrase becomes from his. You are worth it. And Regardless of whether I'm worth it or not, no refunds.